my interest at first was to, was to be the storyteller, not to be part of the story, not to be the story. But events have made me the story. This being a dictatorship, you can't, there's no way that a dictatorship, an authoritarian system, uh, will tolerate an independent journalist. They want you, you know, they want you to self-censor. And that was something that I was not prepared to do. Altogether, I've been in prison about nine times, and I've been in prison more than nine years. When you add up, when you add up the total number of you know, uh, years, my paper was the first uh, paper, by the way, that, that, that came out openly criticizing the government. So this was something new to the country. And it was a weekly newspaper. The second time the newspaper came out, we were we were in trouble with the government, and we were charged under the press law. Uh, under the press law, and I was in prison. I was slapped and beaten. I was charged with, with, with terrorism, which is the standard uh, <laughs> uh, charge against uh, journalists throughout Africa, throughout, you know, wherever there, there are dictatorships, you know, dissidents are, are branded as terrorists. Uh, I spent six and a half years in prison and then I was, uh, I was released because there was, people were demanding that uh, political prisoners and prisoners of conscience sh should be released. But what I have found out you know, uh, during the course of my career is that uh, of my journalistic career is that unless there's democracy it's just not possible to be a, a journalist so i have to struggle for democracy to be a journalist that's what i've done so every time we went to prison we, we became more conscious how important democracy is so you know we we recognize that we have to fight for democracy that unless there's democracy that there was no way that we could we could do our work so while well, the imprisonment was intended to intimidate us uh, to make us submit it actually had the opposite effect and it made us more demanding of our rights. You know, people, people focus on me because I'm the person behind the bars. Uh, but the real damage and the real sacrifice uh, has been paid up by my family. By my wife, who's a dissident journalist like I am, but particularly uh, uh, by my child by our, our older child, who, by the way, was born in prison uh, while we were both, uh, well, we, we were both uh, in prison in 2005. Uh, we haven't rested. We have not had any rest for the past 12 years. And you could see it on him. Exile is not an option for me, so I have to go back. And I have to go back and leave my child, uh, wife here because it's not safe at the present. We don't know where the country is going. But once you know, we, have, we have democracy, we'll move back home uh, as a family. I know that finally we, we, we shall succeed. The freedom of expression, of freedom for journalists, could not be an island in a CCC of dictatorship. Uh, we, could, we could be journalists only if there's liberty for all.